This is Nisho here, and today uh, we got ourselves a Dino Smashers Furry Structure Deck. Uh, as you can see right next to it, I do have my big, bright, and beautiful Ultimate Conducting Tyranno. I'm not going to do a deck profile just yet. I want to perfect the deck before I really do a deck profile of it. So, uh, but I, I do, I do just want to appreciate the way that Ultimate Conductor Tyranno looks. It is one of my favorite cards, and after playtesting this deck yesterday. Um, I can definitely see this card being a favorite of mine for quite a long time. So let's not stall anymore. Uh, shout outs to myself for buying Destruction Deck, and uh, shout outs to Konami for making such a beast, um, <laughs> a beast monster in uh, a Structure Deck, you know, because usually Destruction Deck boss monsters are like gimmicky, but this one I can fully appreciate. So starting the opening, uh, I, I only have one hand to use, so I, I guess I'll just open the box uh, like this. Speed this up probably, because this is going to be pretty awkward to look at, pretty awkward to listen to, too. Bending off. Ah, man. It's almost like. Okay. There you go. Uh, this everything is something left in there. All right. Let's throw it out way. Uh, so here we have casing, and we have the stretch deck. We have the strategy guide. Um, and the deck list, and we have a rule book, or a beginner's rule book, because um, rule books in structure decks usually don't have the full rules. Those are ones in uh, starter decks that have the updated rules and everything. Those, those are the thick ones. The structure deck ones are kind of thin. So, okay. So let's get into opening the actual deck. So, you know, I probably know what you're thinking by now, like, Nistro, isn't it a bit redundant to open a structure deck? Like, we already know what's going to be in here. And I'm like, you know what, you are right. But, you know what else? Some people just want to see the actual cards, you know, some people just want to see the cards in real life, in person. So, uh, it doesn't hurt to do this type of thing. Um, and honestly, it's, it's, it's what we would all expect, so... Starting from the top of the deck list, we have, oh my god, my phone is butchering <laughs> that freaking uh, deck list. I don't think it could focus on that, but I'm just going to read it off. So we have Pet uh, Petite Ranodon. So it, uh, this is the new baby source. Um, it has a very similar effect, except it summons level 4 and higher instead of level 4 or lower. But the monster you summon can't attack this turn. The big and beautiful Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, which should have been in the front. Uh, Soul Eating Oviraptor. Uh, Survival's End. Uh, very nice trap card. I just wish it had a slightly better effect so it could be a bit more playable. But it, I, I do think if you find the right deck uh, style, it is fine as is. And last but not least, we have our Lost World. So these are all the hollows in the set. Uh, two ultras and three supers. Um, definitely not bought, uh, bad hollows, but they could have did a lot better. I mean, in the Japanese version, they had like a whole bunch of prismatic rares and everything, um, even after uh, the hollow set. So uh, TCG is lacking. So next we have two Megalo Smasher X and two Saber Source. And uh, they're kind of mismatched, so let's just put them in order. All right, 
Uh, he's a 4-2k beater. That's just a level 4 normal summon. He's also a water type, which makes him double useful um, in uh, the water type build that I made. Um, I'll definitely leave a link to that at the end of the video or in the description. And Sabersaurus, the former head of the Dino Rabbit strategy. Now, not so much because Megalo Smasher X exists, but um, he's probably still going to see quite a bit of play. So, next we have ourselves Superconductor Tyranno, the former Structure Deck Leader, and Ultimate Tyranno, which is uh, the two cards that fuse into Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Um, although it's not an actual fusion, it probably would have made more sense if this was a fusion, but then it probably wouldn't be as good. So I'm glad they just made it a regular effect monster. Uh, Super Ancient Dino Beast. Um, it has a nice effect. Uh, when you special summon a dinosaur type monster from the graveyard, you get to draw a card. Um, and it could be tributed summon by tripping only one dinosaur type monster. So I could definitely see uh, a dinosaur type deck uh, focused around this card in the future. But, you know, for now, it's, it's, it's just nice to see. Um, if this card didn't have a reprint, it will probably be a lot more expensive um, in the future because uh, this card was like a hollow only, I think. It was like a super. Uh, Brachion, something you don't really use in this structure deck, something you're going to save. You're not really going to use in general, so. But it is a nice card. I do remember it from the first dinosaur structure deck. Um, good times. Uh, Tyranno Infinity, glad it came in here. Uh, it is the best beat stick you can have in this deck, especially with uh, the way the deck plays with Miscellaneous Source and everything. So, really glad they did that. Black Brachion, nobody really cares or uses it. Um, Miracle Jurassic Egg, it has a nice effect. Um, the only problem being it has to tribute itself. And that being the case, it's, it's not really all that worth it. Because um, it gets counters, and then you get to tribute it to summon the dinosaur type uh, monster from your deck, equal to the number of counters that you have on it, but you have to tribute it. If you simply just remove the counters, it would have been better. Glosaurus, uh, Baby Cerasaurus, uh, very nice, you know, it's just like Petit Aranodon. Uh Miscellaneousaurus, uh, it's... I, I really don't know why they would make this a Raging Tempest as a common, and then reprint it as a common. This this thing should have been hollow in, in Raging Tempest. Just that's just my only opinion on it. Uh, Evil Salamander or Evil Swarm Salamander, uh, Stego Cyber, uh, Triforceratops, Triforce. Um, yeah, the, these cards aren't really too relevant, so I'm just gonna just go over them. Skeletosaurus, Chewbone, Rescue Rabbit, uh, Reprint into Bad, Fossil Dig. It's like the Rota, your searcher. Big Evolution Pill. I don't think you're gonna use it. Uh, Twin Twisters, definitely an amazing card. Uh, Burial from a different dimension, you know, just to bring back all your uh, banished stuff, just in case. Um, Swords of Concealing Light, uh, Painful Decision, I'm glad they reprinted this because uh, I am going to play it in another deck in the future, and I uh, will let, let you know what deck it is uh, on a later date. The same thing for Unexpected Die. Uh, Terraforming to Search Your Lost World, uh, I'm glad they added it. Honestly, this isn't a hard card to get, but um, it's just having the convenience of it being there, you know. Survival of the Fittest, uh, not really a big deal. Fossil Activation, not really a big deal. It's just worse called the Haunted for Dinosaurs. Extinction on schedule. Nobody's going to play this, but it does have a good effect, in my opinion. Nobody's going to play it, though. Because <laughs> it is a bit gimmicky. Ojama Trio uh, definitely is something we haven't seen in a while. Uh, but it does work with Superconductor Tyranno, so it is helpful. Same thing for Nightmare Archfiends, except we haven't seen this played in like any relevant deck like ever. But you know, again, it does work with Ultimate Conductor, so it's there. Quaking Mirror Force to reprint, still worth like four dollars uh, for the common and like ten dollars for the Ultra. Some people, I heard people got at locals uh, get mad because uh, this thing got reprinted, but in my opinion. Not that much of a big deal. Uh, Grand Horn of Heaven, uh, not really a big deal. Uh, Secret Blast, only if you're playing Chain Burn, really. And last but not least, we got ourselves a Jurak Egg token, or Jura Egg. You know, I almost uh, thought to said Jurak, you know, it would have been nice if it said Jurak on it. But um, it's just Dinosaur with zero uh, stats, and yeah, it's, it's just a Jura Egg token for Lost World. But, um,.